What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and really big news for the design community, Figma has just launched plugins. That's right, all you Figma users out there, get excited because plugins are here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a basic overview of plugins as well as pull out a few of my favorite plugins that I think you'll really enjoy. Let's do it. All right, here we are with the local desktop version of Figma, uh, and I have it up and running. And you can see over in my left-hand bar, we not only have recent drafts and deleted, but we also have plugins. And so that's the first thing you're probably gonna look for is when you're in your home tab to head over to the plugins tab. Um, and we can see we have like kind of the featured plugins, you have popular plugins, and then you have the plugins that I have installed over here. Well, I can see all of them, but I can browse all plugins. I like this layout a lot. Um, just you can search for anything you want. Like if I'm looking for, you know, Bravo, like there it is, I can find it. And it's, it feels a little lackluster if you want to install something, you literally just click install and bang, it's installed. It's, there's no like, oh, okay, restart your machine or restart Figma. It's just, it's, it's just, you have access to it now. Start using it, which is pretty cool. If you want to, you can click on each one of the plugins and get some more detail. But let's just browse all plugins and I'll just point out a few of my favorites, okay? So, um, Autoflow is one of my favorites and I want to um, draw a flow, like a user flow between the two. Um, something you should know about all plugins is they are all gonna be accessible from the plugins menu up top, which you can't see on my screen technically because I have a really wide screen, or you can uh, right click anywhere and you can access the plugins like that, so that's pretty nice. And I'm gonna actually select these two first and I'm gonna hit the plugin screen. We're gonna find Autoflow, and we're gonna hit Autoflow, and it's just gonna draw a line between the two. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and now I can draw another flow up here, and maybe another flow down here, or another screen, excuse me. And let's say I wanna draw between the two. I could right click again and go to plugins and go to Autoflow, or I could hit the run last plugin hotkey command, which is command option P or control option P. So I'm gonna select my two artboards and run that command and it's just gonna flow right to them. So that's really, really cool. Um, I like auto flow a lot. Let's go back and find another one that I really, really like. Content reel. Oh, let's bring up content reel. Let's say I wanted to, uh, I had some text and I wanted to put some text in here, like I'll just write text for now. Um, I could bring up content reel. Let me go to plugins and hit content reel. Bang, it brings up my content reel panel. I can click on any text area and uh, there it is. And now select the type of content. Is it a name, is it a phone number, is it an address, email? Man, this is really, really nice. I'm gonna be honest, this is like craft what craft was to sketch, content reel is kind of to Figma. Um, Mapsicle, big fan of Mapsicle. Let's do a Mapsicle demo really quick. Um, I'm going to create another artboard really quick right here. And it's it's a map plugin. It does exactly what you want. You just gotta connect it to Mapbox. Um, but once we've done that, we can open up plugins and hit Mapsicle, open Mapsicle, and search for you know any area and we can zoom in, zoom out. We can select the style that we want. Maybe we want like satellite or we want like dark mode there. And we're gonna create a map and it's just gonna apply it right there to our, our box. I mean, it's cool and it also is updatable. If later on, I'm not really sure if I wanted that, I can, let's bring up Mapsicle again, open Mapsicle. And I'm just gonna readjust, okay, to maybe focus on this area and I'm gonna update my map. It does that for me. Ah, it's just really nice. Working with maps can be kind of a kind of a pain. So this makes it really, really nice. So there's Mapsicle. Then, oh, let's can we talk really quickly? Obviously, Unsplash. We love Unsplash, right? So let's do let's do an Unsplash demo. I just grabbed this one. I'm gonna bring up Unsplash and I'm gonna insert an animal into this square. Bingo. It's super high quality, and because Figma images work this way right? Like it's resizable and it keeps its image quality. When you preview it, it's going to look really great. So that's Unsplash. Well, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about Figma's new plugin setup down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, leave those down there as well and check the description for some helpful links about Figma and plugins and other cool stuff. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do lots of videos about design and development and reviews just like this video. So maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, hope you're making amazing things, and I hope you're customizing your setup how you like it. I'll see you in the next one.